Some of the most vivid descriptions of life in the gold fields were made in the 23 so-called Shirley letters written by Louise Clapp in 1851 and 1852. The letters were addressed to her sister back east and were written from the gold fields under the pen name of Dame Shirley. She lived in the Sierra Nevada foothills with her doctor husband, one of just four women amongst over 500 men, along the Feather River in the mining camps of Rich Bar and Indian Bar. The people populating Rich Bar and Indian Bar varied as much as their dwellings of tents, wood shanties, and even cabins removed from ships abandoned in San Francisco Bay by anxious, gold-seeking sailors. Besides the white Americans and Spanish-speaking Californios, who Clapp called Spaniards, there were Swedes, Chilenios, Frenchmen, Mexicans, Indians, Hawaiians, Englishmen, Italians, Germans, Mulattoes, and American Blacks, most of them freed but some still slaves working for their gold-digging masters. She included among the mulattoes Jim Beckworth, who led the first group of immigrants through the Sierras along his Beckworth Trail in August of 1851. That trail ended in Marysville, and he camped outside of Indian Bar. She describes Beckworth's presence in the area in her eighth letter. Ned is not the only distinguished person residing on this bar. There is a man camping here who was one of Colonel Fremont's guides during his travels through California. He is 50 years of age, perhaps, and speaks several languages to perfection, as he has been a wanderer for many years and for a long time was the principal chief of the Crow Indians. His adventures are extremely interesting. He chills the blood of the green young miner who, unacquainted with the arts of war and subjugation, congregate around him by the cold-blooded manner in which he relates to the Indian fights that he has been engaged in. There is quite a band of this wild people herding a few miles below us, and soon after my arrival it was confidently affirmed and believed by many that they were about to make a murderous attack upon the miners. This man who can make himself understood in almost any language and has a great deal of influence over all Indians went to see them and told them that such an attempt would result in their own certain destruction. They said that they had never thought of such a thing, that the Americans were like the grass in the valleys and the Indians fewer than the flowers of the Sierra Nevada. <laughs> 